Kind of looks dope, though. Kind of looks dope. What is going on, people out there in video world? This is Billy, back with another one from my fly family. A quick review on the MCK from CKA Micro Conversion Kit in FDE. I don't even know if it's FDE. It might be Olive Drive. I'm not sure, but either way, it's a dope color. Um, this one is specifically for the Taurus G2C, G3C, and G3, full size. On this, um, when you do get it, plan ahead, figure out what accessories are gonna work best for it. Um, with this, you'll have to set up, in the front, there's a bracket that will take this um, barrel shroud and push it forward or back. And right here, that little F and C is for full size and compact size, and that will let you know where you need to put that screw to get that barrel shroud uh, closer to the gun. And another little indicator will let you know you have it on full, um, full size uh, firearm. So that would be the G3 for the Taurus setup. Um, it is a, a cool little something. This is my uh, third uh, MCK. Uh, I have two others for uh, Glock models, and I couldn't wait. When they dropped these, I got this during the holidays in uh, 2021. When they dropped these, I I got I bought one, and the other one came free. And I was like, hey, let's do it, let's do it. And this one, um, I think it came in like two or three days, and it's just been sitting, I, I, I ran it, um, during the holiday time and I was excited and I've been just buying so many other firearms that this one didn't get love so I figured today I'd do that show it some love and uh, show you um, my progress on it I'm not going to put the best of the best on certain things so I have a Bushnell red dot and an Amazon flashlight cool little flashlight though etc. Either way, um, I'm going to show you guys how it looks and how to, uh, I don't even know if I can uh, put guns, you know, would, would, they, would they strike me for this to actually put a, a gun in it. I'm not getting paid anyway, so let's do it. Let's show you something. There's something interesting that I do want to show you, and I don't want to uh, uh, give it to you to say, yeah, it's okay to do it, but I do want to show you something. So let's start with uh, the G three Taurus. Just want to make sure everything is clear and good to go. When you do put these in, you'll have a little uh, matched up. This is the charging handle and the serrations will let you line up exactly where to put the gun in. So you'll dip the barrel side in and then you're just going to kind of line up just like so now you want to push the firearm forward lock it in the front and there's a secondary lock on the rear side so for this and then push it in you want to make sure that you see that red in there that indicates that it is locked in and ready to go. Not a bad look, comfortable. Um, my preferred 
choice on this setup. Um, it is probably the better way to go if you do have a G3 um, instead of a G2C because I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So in order to get that back out of there, you want to depress this button right here, push up on that lock system, and then just pull out. That's one. Then you're going to release this tab and this tab with your thumb and index or middle finger, and you'll pull back and then drop the gun out. Just that easy. Um, most people will be able to do it in like five, six, seven seconds. So that is the G3. And this is the G2C. Let's do the same. All these Tauruses and I got a staccato hat on. Hmm. Who knows? So, try to get you guys a good view. Try to line these up. Again, the same. And slide it forward. Do the same locking me mechanism in the back. Make sure that goes in and you have that red indicator showing you that it's locked. Um, these also, you know, I, I should have showed you this earlier as a, uh, a folding brace, which you can still fire while it's folded. And a QD swivel mount on the bottom there. And this is the look with the G2C. Super, super small for me. You know, my, my hand, even with my magazine in there, with the pinky extension, it's still not really comfortable for me to, uh, to shoot. But, just in case I ever wanna take it out and run it that way, I do have the ability to, it's very versatile. And so, again, drop that lever, that uh, security part, drop down these two tabs, pull the gun right out, and you're ready to roll. So here's the fun part. It is for the G2C, the G3C, and the G3. Um, why they did not include the G2S, I really don't know. I'm not too sure what it is that won't make it run. But I just don't believe it. So, I'm going to show you guys. This is the G2S. Don't giggle at the color. It's my wife's gun. She loves it. too um, but it does fit it does and the slide from the G2C and the G2S are interchangeable uh, both run nine millimeter same serrations I don't know, but I think I'm gonna find out soon I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that because I want to see what it can do why not so let's go ahead and pop this back down and do it with me y'all come on press that button pull that back Flip it down, that's the first lock. And then these two on the front side, pull those down, pull it back, and right out of the gun. Right out of the conversion kit. Not too bad, not too bad. I like it, MCK, CAA. Uh, congratulations, man, you guys keep nailing it. Oh, tell me about that. Magazine uh, holder. Okay, and it's not kind of like some of the other generations. This, I think, if I'm right, is a Gen uh, 3. It could be a Gen 2 or 3. But um, the other magazines that sat in the front, they just sat there and they would fall out. 
This one has an actual magazine release button. Pretty cool. I like it. Let's put a gun back in there, see how that looks uh, with that. Let me see, let me see. Put the G3 back in there. Get you a CAA micro conversion kit. Okay. And enjoy. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. Again, Billy, my five family. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.